Sheriff. Watkins. Well, you won the election. Congratulations. But we do have a tradition of professional courtesy up here, and I can personally vouch for each and every one of these men. You're all fired. What's up, guys? Boy, Benny, what is the rarest creature ever seen on Earth? Is it the albino lion? Is it the giant squid? Is it the dodo bird? What could it possibly be? Well, I would argue that probably the rarest creature naturally occurring on Earth is the politician that does what they say they are going to do. And this has been a major frustration for me with both parties, with everyone in politics. These liars. They're liars. And so I saw this, ladies and gentlemen, uh, clip from Argentina, famous. It's the now president of Argentina campaigning. Javier Malay is his name. And he was campaigning with a chainsaw in order to show, and it's a real chainsaw. I don't think it has any spinning blades on it. <laughs> if it did, it's too awesome. But it was to show that he was going to cut things, right? He's going, he's going to take a chainsaw to the bureaucracy in Argentina. Argentina was experiencing horrible inflation and so forth. And so he campaigned with this and it was, you know, really great. The crowds loved it. I mean, you know, you gotta love the theater of it, right? And you gotta love the theater of it. Front runner in the Argentinian presidential election, Javier Malay, swinging a chainsaw during a rally. Chainsaw symbolizes cut in public spending the, uh, in his electoral program. It's time to put an end to the caste. We are tired of uh, politicians who steal and lie, he said, while uh, while campaign. The guy also didn't just use the chainsaw, he used a pinata once, talking about government bloat and bureaucracy. Here is a uh, destroying a pinata of the central bank. And he went on a game show and, and he destroyed it, right? Well, a funny thing happened. Uh, the guy actually, the guy actually won, and he won by a massive number of votes. He won walking away with it, and now he gets to lead. And now the tough part happens, where guys like Javier Malay, who made a bunch of promises and had a bunch of like big time theatrics on the campaign trail, has to actually, well, perform. Another thing that the guy did was go through a whiteboard talking about how he's going to fire governing officials. This was probably actually my favorite antic from the campaign. Watch this. Aunque te resistas. Ministerio de Ciencia y Tecnología e Innovación. Afuera. Ministerio de Trabajo, Empleo y Seguridad Social. Afuera. Ministerio de Educación. Adoctrinamiento. Afuera. Ministerio de Transporte. Afuera. Ministerio de Salud. Afuera. Ministerio de Desarrollo Social. Afuera. Se acabó el curro de la política. ¡Viva la libertad, carajo! <laughs> okay. You gotta love the guy, right? So he's saying that all these government agencies and ministries are going to leave and they're going to be gone. So now he has power. So now what happens? We'll get a load of this. During a recent speech, Javier Malay is a man of his word. He says, we are taking a chainsaw strategy. Hmm. We eliminated the public works, which I'm proud of. Public works are a major source of corruption. We fired 50,000 public employees and will end 70,000 government contracts. Uh, is that just? That just those are just talking points or not, ladies and gentlemen, because he promised to put an end to the parasitic political class. Well, let's see what uh, what do the business news uh, tabloids have to say about this? Malay to cut 70,000 straight jobs, bolstering chainsaw austerity. My God. A politician that actually does what he says he's going to do. Government plans to fire 70,000 government employees. Malay delivered remarks at the business event in Buenos Aires. Argentinian President Malay plans to fire 70,000 government workers in the coming months, one of the clearest signs yet of how the libertarian's chainsaw-style approach intends to slash the swollen state. Wow, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, holy smokes. I'm not gonna, not gonna buy the uh, Bloomberg ad here. <laughs> uh, but that's incredible. That's all you need to know. So it's actually happening. 
The dude's actually the dude's actually going to do it. He's going to put an end to the parasitic political class. Argentina President Javier Malay to fire 70,000 government workers in the coming month. Should the United States do the exact same? Uh, yeah. You know why? Because it works. Check this out. The Economist, after 100 brutal days, Javier Malay has the markets believing. We are genuinely very satisfied that Argentina uh, inflation uh, fell by more than expected to 13%. That's down from 276%. The highest in the world. Inflation of just 8% annually uh, has ra rattled politics in like uh, uh, in America. Mr. Malay has ca uh, cause to celebrate. This is the uh, scale of the economic mess he inherited. He's been able to effectively like ha like increase the amount of uh, investment to start with his economic success, show where there will be no more money printing. Malay is obsessed with achieving his budget surplus, meaning the government taxes more than it spends. He says that he will achieve a surplus before interest payments this year of 2% GDP, a huge change from 3% deficit last year. Incredible. Government made two other big moves. In December, it devalued the peso by 50% and it, uh, to partially close the chasm between official exchange rate and the black market one. Uh, and the government said it's going to <laughs> fire a bunch of pointless government workers. And this, of course, is leading to incredible results. Argentina's economy contracted less than expected. Wow. Check this out. Argentina dollar bonds hit record highs as Malay rally powers on. People are investing in Argentina. Argentina markets in celebratory mood ahead of Easter break. Uh, Argentina's markets are in a celebration mode ahead of the long Easter public holiday, sovereign bonds and equities on a prolonged rally buoyed by fiscal tightening and pro-investor measures taken by Javier Malay, libertarian president. Some dollar bonds has hit record highs, major debt restructuring 2020 after Malay took office last year, pledging to put the economy creaking finances in order and reach zero deficit and take a chainsaw to spending state. The imbalances are reducing in February, both fiscal result and the trade balances were positive again in the second, second consecutive months. Amazing. When you spend less money than you earn, that means you're going to just have more money. You're a healthier economy. Meanwhile, America puts another trillion dollars on our debt approximately every hundred days under Joe Biden. It has to stop, ladies and gentlemen. It must stop. Javier Millet is a very funny guy. He says, if we don't, we don't need bureaucrats putting their finger anywhere, we already know where that finger ends up and that it will continue with the whole arm. If they would have a Vaseline business, they would be cheering. <laughs> so the guy is funny and he's cutting federal jobs and he's cutting federal spending. And who does that remind you of? Reminds you of a time when we had a little more sanity in this country. Here's Javier Malay and Donald Trump actually meeting. They got to meet, and uh, Donald Trump said, make Argentina great again. Make Argentina great again. Viva la libertad, carajo! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, don't you love it? I just, I love this guy. I love this guy. And we've been on the bandwagon for Javier Malay for a long time. You know the dude flies commercial? So here he is, like, on a commercial flight, like, doing a, a rally on a commercial flight in Argentina. The fact that Javier Malay flies commercial, President of Argentina, leading chance, front of the plane is amazing. It really is. What an inspirational dude. But the best thing we've seen from this guy ever was his speech to Davos. So he gets invited to Davos to go talk to the, you know, the inside of the, the viper pit of globalists. And he just gave like a rally cry for freedom. Do not surrender to the advance of the state. You are the true protagonist of your story. Long live freedom, damn it. Incredible. I'm here to tell you that the Western world is in danger and it is endangered because of those who are supposed to have defended the values of the West are co-opted by the vision of the world that inexorably leads to socialism and thereby poverty. Ooh, just taking it to him, ladies and gentlemen. The guy's interview with Tucker, by the way, was the most watched interview in, Amer in human history. At 500 million views. It's like really impressive. Half a billion views. Uh, so take some real guts to be able to say something like this. 
have a listen. This is the way forward. I'm starting to feel the energy realign. This is the 2016 energy all over again. And populism is popular. Super important to remember. It's also brave. Have a listen to this. Good afternoon. Thank you very much. Today, I'm here to tell you that the Western world is in danger. And it is endangered because those who are supposed to have to defend the values of the West are co-opted by a vision of the world that inexorably leads to socialism and thereby to poverty. Unfortunately, in recent decades, motivated by some well-meaning individuals willing to help others, and others motivated by the wish to belong to a privileged caste, the main leaders of the Western world have abandoned the model of freedom for different versions of what we call collectivism. We're here to tell you that collectivist experiments are never the solution to the problems that afflict the citizens of the world. Rather, they are the root cause. Do believe me, no one better place than us, Argentines, to testify to these two points.